Hello everyone, my name is Mark Florence and I'm with the Southwest Technical College and Solar PV Outlaws. In this video we're going to talk about bipolar circuits as outlined in the 2017 National Electrical Code. Let's get started. In 690.7c of the 2017 National Electrical Code, it talks about bipolar source and output circuits. And so what it states is it says to prevent overvoltage in the event of a ground fault or arc fault, the array must be isolated from the ground reference or that center tap and isolated into two two-wire circuits. So what I have here is two different images. One is of older or past systems. That's this image right here. And then this is what we would consider to be the current systems or the current design. What the code tells us right here is to make sure that we don't have an overvoltage uh, in case we lost, we had a ground fault. And the when we have ground faults, we typically have a fuse that is between the basically the earth that connection to the earth and the uh, circuit there'd be a fuse here and if we ever had a ground fault or an arc fault and that fuse blew it would lift that grounding connection so this would no longer be grounded this would no longer be connected to the inverter and then our voltage would no longer be the measurement between uh, the positive and negative here between the ungrounded and grounded or this ungrounded and grounded if we lost this leg, it would actually be between the ungrounded and ungrounded, which would be double than this or this measurement. What the code says is that the, the array, this array right here, must be isolated from the ground reference center tap. So in older systems, what they typically did is they had that center tap or that neutral point, that connection. They they were typically doing them inside the array, and if they ever had a fault and something was lifted, that was no longer connected to the earth, and then that meant that the voltage would actually be the combination between positive and negative, which would exceed the rating of the inverter, damage the inverter, actually cause a safety hazard. Now what they're doing is they're requiring that that center, that ground reference or center tap, here's your center tap right here, that this connection is made within the inverter. You can see here's where we're changing it from DC to AC. You can see we're connecting to the earth here. We have the uh, grounding electrode, the grounding electrode conductor. We're tying all those grounded conductors together here, have our fusing, and you can see this dashed line. They're kind of indicating that the dashed line is basically everything contained within the inverter enclosure and that uh, reference, uh, that center tap or ground reference would be contained within the inverter enclosure. It's not found in the array. So if you ever had did have a fault, it actually is not disconnecting that whole connection here, is actually doing it at maybe another point where you don't have a total voltage between here and here. So this is this this information here is really more of a safety uh safety type of application to make sure that we don't have an over voltage and we can isolate those circuits because here uh, it's difficult to isolate those circuits safely we could do that within the enclosure so that's really all 690.7c is, is helping us do is to me i see it as a, the main application is safety related Thanks for joining me today if you found this information to be useful and you'd either like to stay connected or be notified about future videos, please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I hope to see you in the future. Thanks.